This is Matrix Lord 212 hello everybody. So as you know, I had a lot of comments sent to me by this individual called Stories by Paul, whatever his name was, dead set on saying that Ruth, uh, Fugitive Doctor, was pre hardnell He went on to mention uh, YouTubers like the Confused Adipose and Nerd Den, and I just recently was researching their stuff and... Their opinion is the same thing, that Ruth is after the first Doctor. So this guy's full of shit, basically. Um, making up his own fucking bullshit as canon, saying that that's the way it is. That's not what it is. It's never been established at all where uh, Joe Martin's Doctor fits in the Doctor's timeline. It's never been established that she's pre-William Hartnell first doctor none of that stuff the guy is just lying and saying blatant bullshit and trying to put it off that that is canon again if you remember there was a doctor who convention that was trying to sell tickets uh they had joe martin in there and they lied and they said that joe martin's doctor is the first doctor ever um she's way before william hartnell and all that stuff and that was a complete lie Chris Chibnall went on to say in magazines, one, that he was not going to tell you what placement the doctor is, um, and that's for someone else to decide. So he never said it was before William Hartnell's doctor. And then another one he said, I think before that, he had no idea. He never thought it through. He never made a big deal about it. He just did a throwaway story, and he didn't think it was going to get that much attention. Um, but again, he's no longer showrunner, he's no longer writer, so it doesn't count if he just thought it up tomorrow. Um, he's not in charge of Doctor Who anymore, Russell T. Davis says. So, um, it was never thought through, uh, and the TARDIS is a police box, which was stuck as a police box since the very first episode of William Hartnell's, uh, An Earthly Child. So, there you go. Um, again, one more time, don't fall... For lying, bad Hoovians, people out there don't make videos and they will basically flat out blatantly lie or TikTok videos. It is nowhere at all in any Doctor Who episode that they say what Joe Martin's Doctor is, what number she is, when she was. And again, if you watch all the videos about the Brain of Morbius episode from the Fourth Doctor... They never, it was sort of like they did it to take the piss at fans in the whole situation and just throw like a question and, and, and confuse the crap out of people. It was never meant to go far. It was never meant to be anything. They never had an intention to say that that is actually what it is. It was a duel that it could have been that the fourth doctor had seen future incarnations of himself. It was never meant to be that that is the way it is. Okay. Chris Chibnall, one of his favorite episodes, I guess, went with it and created his own bullshit from it to confuse the crap out of people. And, I, and this guy just going on and on and on. Did you watch The Flux? Dude, are you lazy? Do you watch my channel? How many times did we review The Flux season? How many times did we do podcasts on it? I can't stand people that talk shit on here. And this guy is filling up my comments talking shit, okay? And basically, he doesn't even research on my channel that I've talked about the Fox and everything else. And he keeps saying, you never seen it, you never seen it, like a little child. I've been doing Doctor Who videos for over 10 years. I have thousands of videos. You're going to listen to this moron that like doesn't even know what the hell he's fucking talking about? And he's questioning me on if I have interactions with, like, if I know anything about anything. Get out of here. Please, go away. Stand down. You got defeated, you got beaten, you're wrong, I proved it. Sit there the fuck down. You're done. You're done. I proved you wrong. Go away. Take care, bye for now.